I'm Dr. Mark Sweatman. I work for Shepherd Center in Atlanta, Georgia. My life prior to the injury was pretty normal and carefree. I had wonderful parents in my life. I had a partner in my life that I believed was the man of my dreams at the time. Uh, I was relatively healthy. My injury was just a simple twist of the ankle when I was walking in the park one day and I broke one of the bones in my left foot. But everything seemed to be pretty normal in the healing process until maybe a few days after the cast came off and the swelling, the discoloration, and the pain just started getting out of control. And it took months before the physician realized that I had reflex sympathetic dystrophy, or RSD. RSD is not very common at all but it's usually brought on by an injury. So after we tried multiple treatments, we came to the conclusion that the best thing to do was just to amputate my leg below the knee so I could at least be hopefully rid of the pain from RSD, prevent the RSD from spreading up my leg, and to allow me to walk again with a prosthesis. Tape up the top, I uh, would set a bar and then I'd fill it with plaster. Uh, at that point, we would take it in, uh, pull a plastic check socket over it, um, which would give you one of these, and then they do a fitting. You're just getting a better fitting socket, but that, but that has the pin for you, which is a little maybe easier for you to get on and off sometimes. Right. Sometimes when they come in, they think their life's going to be confined to a wheelchair. You really make a difference in people's lives. And to be able to show them that we can be able to get them back up and doing most anything they were doing before. I can make a life like this. I can do things I used to do, and they just, you can see it in their face. To know that we're affecting people that much, you know, we're changing their lives, you know, so. Prosthetic care is something that's going to go on for the rest of an amputee's life. Um, it's not just one-time thing, you get a leg or you get an arm and you're off. You're going to have to continue to go back. You're going to have to continue to get refitted. You're going to have to continue to get new limbs. And especially for children, they outgrow their limbs so fast. As they're growing, I'm sure a child could go through two or three prostheses a year. I would say maybe a, a basic, what they might call a very basic below knee prosthesis could be six, seven thousand dollars or so, but it could be upwards of maybe even maybe thirty thousand or so, depending on the type of foot and the type of system that we're using for that person. And above the knee prosthesis, it could be you know maybe eighty thousand dollars. We want to provide for everyone that comes in. We would love to just, you know, I would love to just give them one if they weren't able to get one. What we'll typically do is try to do something for them to get them up and walking again ambulatory, just get them out of their wheelchair. I think it's not necessarily always just the physical thing that we're dealing with. There's that mental or emotional thing too, just to be able to stand and walk again. Lens for Life is a nonprofit worldwide organization that provides prosthetic care for people who can't afford it. And it's not just the physical. I mean, it helps emotionally, mentally, and spiritually when you can get up out of bed and walk around. I want people who are dealing with devastating adversity, who are dealing with horrible amputations, who are dealing with loss, who are dealing with abandonment, to know that they can make it back from that. Coming out as a gay man cost me a lot. It cost me two of the most important people, my parents. The betrayal I experienced from my ex affected me tremendously. That was the last amputation that I experienced before I really started losing a completely disabled, gay, broke. What did I have to live for? And I didn't think I had anything to live for. And that's when I attempted to take my life. I ended up having to go to counseling again. I needed to change my perspective that things weren't going to be the way I dreamt they were going to be things weren't going to be exactly how I wanted them, but it doesn't mean that they can't be good. 
So after the amputation, I continued with physical therapy, um, both before and after I got my first prosthesis. Um, I'm a physical therapist here at the Shepherd Center. I've been here, uh, next month will be nine years. If someone has a life-altering injury, like a brain injury, um, a spinal cord injury, an amputation, then they're gonna need someone who's knowledgeable and educated in physiology, exercise, and rehab to guide them along through the re rehabilitation process. They can't just be left to do it on their own or have their families left to do it for them. Hey y'all, we're here with Nick Evans, a co-worker and friend of mine at the Shepherd Center. Nick, what is it you actually do here at Shepherd Center? Um, I work as an exercise specialist in an outpatient program called Beyond Therapy. I've been here for about six years, six and a half years. So Beyond Therapy is an activity-based therapy program it combines uh, a variety of different modalities, including locomotor training, so robotic assisted walking, um, resistance training and strength training, cardiovascular endurance training, sports and the whole sports model and athletic model, athletic training model is a big part of the Young Panther program. James, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Back when I was around five or six months old, I, I got meningitis. So at six months, you came home with all four of your limbs amputated. Yeah. They, they amputated all four at the same time? Yes, or? they did. Yes, they did. How did you uh, get involved in wheelchair sports? Well, actually, I started off when I was 10 years old. I played a whole bunch of different sports, and I found out I really love basketball. Okay. Do you do any other sports besides basketball? Uh, yeah, track, but mainly track is just to uh, the off season. In the summertime, when basketball is not going on, just stay in shape. Okay. Now, do you always use a wheelchair or do you have prostheses that you use? I actually use two C legs. C legs? All the time. I'm never really in a chair besides when I'm playing a uh, sport. Okay. So, for those that don't know what C legs are, those are the computerized knees, right? That yeah. they. Yes, yeah, yeah. Basically, when you put 75% of your weight on the toe, they bend. It was definitely God's doing that brought Diamond into my life. It was November. I had my surgery in January of 2010. The pet store next to the grocery store was having a pet adoption. If it was not for Diamond, I wouldn't have gotten out of bed. I, wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't be here today. What really pulled me through was my friends, my family, and my faith in God. Realizing who I am as a whole person. There are many labels that show the world who I am. Labels such as Christian, survivor, PhD, gay, amputee characterize the essence of who I am. Each one of these labels identifies a part of me. They tell a story of who I am and what I've been through. They're a testament to my strengths, my experiences, and where I'm going with my life. They fill me with hope and pride and provide me with peace. When people pick up my book, the message I want them to get is they too can overcome. And not only overcome their adversities, but they can embrace their adversities. The things I focus on now are things I believe are more meaningful and purposeful to my life. I was very, very lucky that even though I went through job loss, financial loss, I was still able to afford the prostheses that I needed. There's lots of people out there that can't afford it. They don't have the insurance to pay for prostheses and they're very, very expensive. I was extremely blessed and I knew it. So I felt there is no way that I could not help other people when I've been so blessed myself. And that's when I felt the calling to um, help raise money for Loans for Life. Please help me get the word out as we raise money for this historic walk from Atlanta to Birmingham. We can change lives one limb at a time.